Yes, my dear students, welcome once again. I'll be taking accounting treatment of goodwill today. As in the last class, we have discussed the points regarding goodwill, valuation, meaning, and how to value the goodwill. Continuing from the same thing, we are starting with accounting treatment of goodwill. Point number one. First method is premium method that is cash method when the new partner brings in cash for his share of goodwill. The entry is cash account debit to premium account, but right now we are writing premium, but the point has changed to premium for goodwill account. Why the new partner brings in goodwill? In order to compensate the old partners for what they have done in the past to compensate for their past efforts. So, please note down the entry is cash account debit to premium for goodwill account being goodwill brought in cash. Next entry this premium is distributed to the old partners premium account debit to old partners capital account and this is given in sacrificing ratio. Why sacrificing ratio? Because whosoever sacrifice more will get more. So, this is the basic in that. Now, this entry is done if the goodwill is retained in the business that is the old partners are not withdrawing it, they are putting it itself in the business. If goodwill is withdrawn by the old partners, then one more entry is done and that is old partners capital debit to cash account being goodwill withdrawn because now they are taking back their goodwill. So, old partners are the receiver they are debited and cash is going out. So, it is credited note they can draw full goodwill or part of it. Now, suppose they get 10,000 and 5,000 and they want to withdraw half of that. So, one of them will withdraw 5000 and the other one 2500. So, it all depends what is given in the question. If it is given half withdrawn, they will withdraw half. If it is given, they will withdraw one fourth of the amount, they will withdraw one fourth as the question says. Let us understand this by an example. A and B are two partners sharing 3 is to 2. C is admitted for one fourth partner he brings rupees 5000 as goodwill. The new ratio is A B C 2 1 1. A and B withdraw half goodwill. Let us start with the entry. First point C is bringing 5000 as goodwill. Try to think what will be the entry? Yes, cash debit to premium for goodwill that is 5000 rupees this is the first entry which we have to make. Next entry goodwill is distributed between the old partners in sacrificing ratio. Now, what is the entry? Yes, premium for goodwill debit 5000 and this will be given to A and B in sacrificing ratio. As we have done in the last class, what was sacrificing ratio? Yes, it was old ratio minus new ratio. Now, let us see what is the old ratio. A ratio was 3 by 5 and B ratio was 2 by 5. Let us see what is the new ratio. A ratio is 2 by 4, B ratio is 1 by 4. Old minus new sacrifice. Let us take the LCM. It is 2 by 20 and here also LCM 20, 3 by 20. So, the sacrificing ratio is 2 is to 3. Now, we will distribute this 5000 rupees in ratio 2 is to 3, which is their sacrificing ratio. Let us see how. If we are withdrawing this goodwill, the entry is partner's account debit to cash. In case it is half goodwill, then we will do the entry with half amount, and if it is full goodwill, then we will do it with full amount, being half goodwill withdrawn. Now, who is withdrawing the goodwill? 
yes a and b they are the receiver so they will be debited a debit b debit to cash 2500 because total amount of goodwill was 5000 and they are withdrawing half of it let us see what was the goodwill which a and b got a has got 3000 and b has got 2000 now if they will withdraw half of it he will withdraw 1500 he will withdraw 1000 now a is withdrawing 1500 and b is withdrawing 1000 that is half of what they have got right so in case they have withdrawn full then it would have been 3000 and it would have been 2000 but half means half one fourth means one fourth got it next point when goodwill is paid privately this is the second method when goodwill is paid privately there is no journal entry because what you are paying is cash and maybe not recording in the business so there is no entry because in business we record only those entries which are done through the business if you are paying it privately how can we do an entry so there is no journal entry for paying privately Yes, the third method is when the new partner is unable to bring in cash for his share of goodwill. In that case, he must compensate the old partners for their past efforts. The entry is new partner capital or current account debit to old partner capital or current account in sacrificing ratio. Now, why this capital or current account? If we are following fixed capital system, then there are two accounts to be made that is capital account and current account. We do this entry with the help of current account. But in case of fluctuating capital method, when only one account is made that is capital account, so we do this entry by the capital account. Next method is when the new partner is bringing only a part of his share of goodwill in cash and the remaining part he is unable to bring it can happen if somebody can bring a little bit of money let that money come and whatever he is not able to bring will adjust it through capital account so the entry will be like this bank account debit to premium for goodwill whatever he is bringing in cash and then we will divide this premium for goodwill among the sacrificing partners in sacrificing ratio now please note here one more point is there new partner capital or current account debit it means whatever he has brought in cash is debited in cash and whatever he is not able to bring in cash the same entry comes again new partner capital debit so both are debited now the premium for goodwill which he has brought in cash and his capital account which he has not brought in cash and we are distributing both of them to the sacrificing partner. So, you can say it is a combination of previous two cases. I hope you are able to understand. Let us see once again whatever is brought in cash is cash debit to premium for goodwill and whatever he is not able to bring in cash then new partner account is going to be debited and naturally sacrificing partners are credited. There are some other points regarding goodwill let us see them first point if goodwill already exist in the books then what to do if goodwill is already shown in the books it is a matter of financial prudence according to the accounting standard 6 issued by institute of chartered accountants of india that it should be written off as immediately as possible because it is a kind of non productive asset so, if the goodwill is already existing in the books, then we have to write it off. Write it off means the old partners must write it off because it belongs to old partners. So, they must write it off and that too in their old ratio. Yes, the entry will be old partners capital account debit to goodwill account and in the old ratio. So, old partners old ratio right. The second point is there can be hidden goodwill or you can say inferred goodwill. Now, what is this hidden or inferred goodwill? 
suppose a partner brings x amount as capital for his particular share but if he is bringing more capital than what is required according to his share then it means he is bringing more money which means that is goodwill we are not saying it but he is actually bringing it so that is called hidden or inferred goodwill we can understand it by this way let us take an example old partners capital is 2 lakh and we are admitting c a new partner who bring 50000 for 1/6 share now if you are bringing 50000 for 1/6 share what shall be the total capital of the company yes it should be 3 lakh because if 50000 is equal to 1 by 6 what is the total value of 1 that is 3 lakh please see the calculation let us see c is bringing 16 for rupees 50000 so total capital of the firm will be 50000 into 6 by 1 that is 3 lakh now 3 lakh is the total capital of the firm but combined capital of old partners and c is equal to 2 lakh plus 50000 2 lakh 50000 that means you must have a capital of 2 lakh 50000 but if the combined capital is 250 and you are bringing share for 3 lakh what is that extra 50000 that is goodwill yes please see goodwill is 50000 that is the difference between 3 lakh and 2 lakh 50000 the next topic in this is revaluation of assets and liabilities what do you mean by revaluation revaluation means valuing the assets and liabilities again whenever a new partner is admitted we have to revalue the assets and liabilities so as to see what is their actual value as on date so that if there is any profit or loss that should be distributed to the old partners because they were the partners when this difference has arisen right let us understand this by way of revaluation account revaluation account is nominal in nature nominal means debit means all expenses and credit means all gains let us see if there is any decline in the value of asset it will come on the debit side similarly if there is a increase in the liability it will also come on the debit side and the vice versa is also true it means if the assets are increasing that is your income and if the liabilities are decreasing it is also your income so if income is more then balance will be profit and if expenses are more then it will be losses now who will bear this loss or who will get this profit naturally old partners because this has a reason because of the old partners efforts so it belongs to them so they will share this in the old profit sharing ratio so the profits or losses on revaluation are distributed among old partners in old ratio now revaluation being a nominal account losses are debited and profits are credited revaluation being a nominal account all losses are debited and all income are credited let us conclude this session that what we have done today we have seen various accounting treatment of goodwill how the entries are made why in sacrificing ratio and why any partner is debited or credited and so on and the second point we have understood today is what is revaluation account why losses are debited why profits are credited because it is a nominal account we will continue our discussion from this very point in the next class till then goodbye all of you thank you